be compacted because stuff's going to be over the top and if it starts sinking while well, stuff is over the top then that's going to be a disaster so yeah we've got to make sure it's as compact as possible We've just put down this top and what we're going to be doing is putting crushed concrete over the top of this and then the cement will go on top of that but we are filling this whole bottom bit we just can't put the top all the way across because we need to get the digger and roll it over and if we drive over it, it might rip it so we're going to leave one side do one side then put the crushed concrete then we can drive over that part to do the next side and you'll see in a second here we've had some crushed concrete delivered and this is going to go over that blue tarp and then concrete over the top of this so let's bring a scoop down with this good steer now progress so far. Don't know what happened to my voice then. Well, still finishing it really, and it's gone. It looked like. Low. 
loads when it come. Thought there was too much. And now it's gone. Eating it right up. So in a minute we're going to go and get the lights ready. We're gonna you're gonna hear someone on call, so ignore that because we're setting it up and now they are telling us how to set it up. But I thought I'd show you. Well, it's gone over there now. But this calf, cow, sorry, is just calves running around. It's a healthy calf. So yeah, obviously it's behind its mum protecting it whatever yeah let's go sort out these new lights yeah are you only need to fill in the left hand side because you're only using the one contactor yeah cool yeah so your back's about now on yeah and uh, what's the next one rub duration and uh, rub duration set that till about 120 so that's about it And now they are completely finished, it looks way better in here. As you can see, it looks much better in person, it's actually really nice. I think this is 100% brightness. It's taken up a lot of the lens actually. These are very bright, they hurt your eyes when you look at them. Yeah, the cows will love it. Is this electric box here. It's a very fancy one. And on this box, as you can see there, there is a light sensor. So it's also going to be able to adjust itself to how dark or light the shed is. It's not gonna stay there. It's advised that it goes somewhere in the middle hanging so you can tell, but just so everything works, it's put there for now. And here are everything about the lights. And if you understand that, then have a read of that. But yeah. Here's the Belgian blue ball sleeping. Don't want to wake it up. You can hear me, it's ears are moving. But yeah, I'll try and film them in the dark, but the video is going up tonight in about an hour or so. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, depends if it gets dark fast enough. It's only five o'clock now though. But yeah, definitely much better. And just to show you over here, markings here, this one there, we've just roughly marked out where the clean rooms are going to be for the robots. We are currently waiting on them before the robots can come. They are coming at around, they're well not getting delivered right here, they're coming mid-February, so a couple weeks, not long at all, but the clean rooms are going to be here end of March. So that's what we're waiting for. Hopefully sooner, but who knows? Not too long now though. So then markings here to here, that'll be one. So that's just a rough idea. And there'll be another one there. You can see them markings? But yeah, that's just planning at the moment. Obviously them holes are blocked up now. So let's see if you can see through here, the level has come up quite a bit, still a fair amount of space to go. I think it might just be over halfway full, not too sure. Can't really tell anymore. But we'll be tanking, taking some out in a few days, so I'll definitely get that filmed. Everywhere else is dark, apart from in here. Looks amazing. 
and this is the latest I can film since the video needs to go up but if you're in here and you couldn't see the time or couldn't see outside the shed you'd have no idea what the time of day was because it just seems like day but we're not 100% sure yet but how we think it's going to work is at around nine half nine we set the time of course the lights are going to dim for night time so the cows will still have some light but it's not going to be too bright for them to be able to sleep and then around half five to six in the morning they'll come full brightness again ready for us when we come outside and do what we need to do and then when it gets light the lights will completely turn off i think through the day obviously they were on today but that's just because that's when we set them up i'm not 100 percent sure we'll keep you updated but that is the end of this video if you have enjoyed subscribe and the instagram will be linked in the description and i'll see you in the next one